Jank Caviar Game News. We don't have a budget for special effects, really. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. Damn, where's my list at? Post E3 show, gaming news. There hasn't been any more gaming news since E3 ended. But I do have a little bit of tidbits that I want to get into. During E3, if you watched it, you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, you do. You do. There was a game called Watch Dogs, made by Ubisoft, shown. The trailer was amazing. It was about five minutes. You basically play as a hacker that hacks into the infrastructure of the environment around you. The game looked amazing. There was a rumor that said that the game was going to be only for next-gen consoles, but it's not. It's going to be released in 2013 for this-gen consoles and rumored to be for next-gen consoles, too. You got the next PlayStation, next Xbox, and the next Nintendo Wii U is what it's called. What I want to know right now, comments section, let me know what you thought about E3. More specifically, who do you think won E3? This is a hot topic. What company do you think really brought the heat to E3? Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo? There was a lot of games that were announced and a lot of features and whatnot. So, I mean, there was Mass Effect 3 on Wii U, for crying out loud. You got Assassin's Creed that was shown on PS3 and Vita. You have uh, the uh, Black Ops 2, which was demoed, not online. The guy that they interviewed on Spike TV didn't seem like he knew anything about that game. Like, that was the first time he's, heard, he's even heard about Black Ops or Call of Duty. And he was supposedly from Treyarch. The, the, the guy was like, so when are we going to see some multiplayer? He was like, uh, I, I, that was later on this year. Like, the game comes out this year. Of course it's going to show before this year. We want a time frame. E3 would have been a perfect time to show it, but whatever. Metal Gear Solid, what was it, Rising? Uh, Halo 4, Two Souls, the game from uh, Quantic Dream, the same company that made Heavy Rain, PS3 exclusive. This game will also be a PS3 exclusive. Uh, Sony should really buy that company. Medal of Honor showed a demo of multiplayer gameplay, and it looked amazing. Between Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor, and I'm going to make a prediction and say the next Homefront game, which is going to be run on the Crytek engine, the same engine that Crisis 1 and 2 runs off of, they're going to be... Killing Call of Duty. Call of Duty right now is stuck in the mud. Treyarch is trying their best to do, uh, pull it, put it in a different direction and make it innovative, which is good, but it's gonna screw them over because this game should have came out next year with the new consoles. Next year, you're gonna have Infinity Ward putting out a new uh, Call of Duty with new consoles, and it's gonna suck because. Infinity Ward is, they're stupid. They don't know how to make a game if Treyarch made it for them. We're going to be changing the uh, channel around a little bit. We're going to be implementing Xbox more and more. So a lot of the Call of Duty gameplays that are being made right now, most of them, the majority of them were on PS3, but now they're going to be more on Xbox. Subscriber Saturdays will always be on PS3. Bear with me. And we're going to also get more... Xbox exclusives pushed into the channel so we can widen our audience, okay? But anyway, let me know who you think won E3. We'll talk about it in the comment section below. If you're just seeing this video for the first time and you haven't subscribed, please do it now. This is my subscriber dance. Subscribe. All right, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. Bum, 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 Game Caviar. Game news. We need to really put some money towards a...